live. Hey everyone. After so long, right? Yeah. I feel we haven't been <laughs> here in in a while. Um, let's wait for everybody to get notified about this and and then we can start. Great. Hello. Hey Thank everyone. you for joining. Thank you for joining our live. Today we're gonna speak about CC and of course the Cephaly Connected. So whatever questions you guys have, um, we're gonna be your experts for today. Um, and been too long. I know, right? <laughs> I was just gonna say, like we we should go live more often. Especially this team. I feel like I haven't been on with you. In oh a my bit. God, yes. <laughs> so um, for. For whoever doesn't know me, I'm Kiara. I'm here with the marketing team. My name's Lily. I work for the quality and regulatory teams here at Cephaly. So she knows everything about CC. You guys can ask her every question you can possibly have. Uh, but also, if you have questions about the Cephaly Connected, which is strictly related to the CC app, please, please, this is your time to shine. So uh, for you today, uh, we prepared kind of like a, a full journey in the CC app, starting from the very beginning with the uh, activation of a new account uh, to uh, the basic of the device and uh, the activation and the setup of each treatment through the app and kind of like all the secrets and tips and tricks. So why don't we get started? Sure. All right. All right. So. Let's pretend I am a new Cephaly user, right? Just like you. And I don't really know much about the Cephaly device or uh, the CC app. What happens is, uh, first of all, I wanna learn more about the Cephaly Connected. I just bought this. So I wanna learn more about the technology, but let's say that Cephaly is a non-invasive migraine treatment worn on your forehead, which by the way, I'm already wearing my my electrodes. I forgot to take it off. I was doing my treatment before and I forgot. Uh, but um, yeah, Cephaly is a non-invasive migraine treatment worn on your forehead. It stimulates and desensitizes that trigeminal nerve. What happens is that Cephaly has two modes, the acute and the preventative. Fun fact, you can set up the treatments through the app. And now we're going to teach you guys how. I want one so bad, but it's so expensive. So thank you so much for your comment. We actually have several payment methods uh, through a firm or Klarna if you're located in uh, Europe. We're also HSA and FSA eligible. So uh, and we also have PayPal credit. So we do offer a few payment methods and all our influencers have discount codes. You just got to look for them. <laughs> so let's start with uh, downloading the app, Lil. Yeah, so you can go to your Apple App Store and just search up the CC Migraine Management app. So currently we are available um, for US customers um, on iPhones. So I think Kiara found it pretty quickly there. Yes. And so we can see the app there. It's the, we've kind of redesigned the logo a little bit. So if we click the download or get button, um, we'll be allowed to download it. And then it'll show up on our home screen and we'll be able to get started. There you go. Uh, thank you. Does it help with migraine with auras? Yes, it does. We have a lot of customers that also experience aura and have mm -hmm. found um, Cephaly very beneficial. We also offer a 90-day satisfaction guarantee. So if the device doesn't work for you, you can return it. Um, does it work with Android? We are launching Android soon. So stay tuned. We only want the best app for you guys. So stay tuned. Yes, but everything we talk about here today will be applicable to the Android download. So follow along and you guys will be experts before it comes out. Good point. So we downloaded the app, then we open it mm -hmm. and there it is. Yep. So it first asks you for some permissions, um, asking for Bluetooth push notifications, because those are two key components of our new app. You allow, and then you pick your language. Yep. So our app is offered in English and French. Um, we'll be preparing for our launch in Canada soon because we know our Canada customers have our Cephaly connected. And so we'll have those two language options for you. So those launches will be coming soon. So please stay tuned on that. Cool. So now we have our newest screen. This says hi and get started. 
So I suppose we click on get started and then we're prompt to adding an email and a, and a password. Yes, so this is the law, the sign up, initial login sign up screen. So there's a couple of things I did wanna point out here, just because I know there's been some confusion. There's a lot of different buttons on this screen. Mm -hmm. So the first two that Kiara talked about, there's a login space for username and password. So if you already have a CC account on the brand new app, you can log in. Um, but if you don't, you have two options. So the first option is right underneath the login, there's a button that says transfer my account. So if you had a, a, an account on the old app, click on that and it'll bring you through a flow where you can make sure that all of your data from the old app is transferred to the new app. And you'd use the same email and then you're going to be prompted to create a new password. But what we're going to be showing today is if you are a brand new Cephaly user, you did not have the old app, you just got your Cephaly connected and you're jumping right into the CC world. So underneath the sign in button, there's a button that says sign up. And so you want to click the sign right here. up button. I know it's kind of small, but if you click on that, um, you'll be asked to sign up with the app. So the sign up flow is a lot easier than our old app. So we're just ask some basic questions about yourself and asking for your name, your email, assigning a password, and then we'll go through an email verification flow and then we'll be good to go. So we've eliminated the need to do that onboarding questionnaire right at the start. We will see that um, later, but we don't have to deal with it when we're first signing up. Perfect. Email. Yes. So we're going to use our um, testing email, so our CC email. It has the, the plus, sorry. Oh, yeah. Okay, perfect. And a password. So we do have a kind of a checklist of things that you'll need in your password. So one capital letter, um, one lo at least one lowercase letter, um, numbers, symbols. So this is to make sure that your health data is secure. We want to make sure that you're the only one that can access this. So we want to make sure you have a really strong password. So you finally click on sign up. Yep. And it'll load for a second and then. There it is. Perfect. So then you'll get a screen that says that um, you got an email verification. Um, and so let's go to our email and see if it's there. There it is. All right. You will receive an email. You can simply copy the code that you will receive via email. You go on your app and you simply paste it. So that's a great thing too. So the email verification has been really streamlined. The copy and paste I think is great. I don't have to remember six digits yes. going back from my email to my app. Um, so once we click on that. Verify. We should be verified. And so to know that you're verified, it'll bring you right back to that home screen. So then it'll ask you to log in again, just to make sure that you know certainly it's you. So you'll log in with those credentials that you created and you'll be brought to the home screen. So we'll let Kiara catch up here. <laughs> And we also got an email that our account has been verified. Yes. Yeah. And there you go. Get yeah. started. We do have a question. Okay. Uh, is this just a new app or a new version of the device too? It's just a new app. Yep. But there's new capabilities within the app that kind of makes the device feel like almost a new device. Mm -hmm. there's, so that'll be exciting. We'll talk about that. So yeah, get yeah. started. Yep, so I was talking about that kind of onboarding that we do. So the first screen that you'll see when you log in for the first time is this um, screen that asks us to help improve our experience. So when you go through this, it's gonna be a series of questions about your migraine experience. And the reason that we ask a lot of these questions is to help establish a baseline for how are your, you dealing with your migraines currently? What kind of medications are you taking? What are you looking to track and use this app for? And so there's a couple questions, so I think that we'll skip that for now. Okay. And then we'll jump right to the next screen. So if we click skip, we'll see, we actually have a pair your device tutorial. 
So I know that there were a lot of questions in the past about how to connect the Cephaly Connected device to the app. So we have this great tutorial for your first time um, pairing. So let's go through the tutorial. Absolutely, uh, but first things first, a lot of people ask, why do I have to pair the Cephaly Connected to the CC app all the time? Why does it remember my password? And it's a very valid question, but there is a few reasons. So yeah. would you like to explain it to them? Sure. So firstly, um, you know, in, within this app, we're hold, holding a lot of um, private health information. So we want to make sure that your data is kept secure. And so we want to make sure that the Bluetooth, any Bluetooth connectivity that's occurring between the Cephaly device and the CC app is one that we are allowing. So to allow that connection, we um, ask for you to put the pin in every time. Are we going to have to re-enter the pin number every 10 minutes still? Yes, so we just um, talked about that. So yes, you will have to enter it. When you're in treatment, um, it should not disconnect. So, but if you're not in treatment, then that's where those 10 minutes come in and um, you will have to reconnect. And that's just a security feature as well to make sure that the device doesn't stay perpetually connected. It also saves your battery life. Yes. So we, if the device did stay perpetually connected to the device or to the phone, then um, the battery would drain much quicker. And then we have I love my Cephaly. Oh, Yay. great to hear. Thank you. So let's pair our device. All right. Let's remember we are new users. So where do I find my pin code? You have your Cephaly connected. All you need to do is flip it and look at this number right here. A few tips and tricks. I do personally recommend adding it to your notes on your phone. So you can just copy and paste it. Uh, or you can add it to a sticky note. Or there is actually a section in the manual that allows you to write it down. So whatever you're more comfortable with. But um, just remember, you have to um, add the pin code each time. You, so you before you put it on your forehead, just remember to, to take the pin code. Because you're going to have to put it in the app. Uh, so it won't disconnect anymore while in treatment. So uh, one of the improvements that we worked on uh, in in this new version of Cephaly is actually like the connectivity and make sure that you guys have the best treatment. So not disconnections and yeah. All right. So pin number. I'm going to write it down. And I want to pair it. So what you want to do is click on next and it will be searching. Yeah, so the prior screen did inform the user to click the Cephaly device button, which Kiara did. So you can see the device button is flashing that dark blue and on Kiara's phone, almost immediately after she pressed, she got a prompt to enter the pairing pin. So she's going to take the pin that she wrote down, put it into the phone here, click connect, and then she'll see that on the device, it has a solid dark blue LED, which means that we are connected. She gets a successful connection um, notification, and then she'll be sent to the home screen. So now we want to put our device on and we click on next. Right, I'll put my um, device on as well yes. while you're... It says attach your device. Now, ideally you want to lay down uh for this live and demonstration purposes we're just gonna sit we're just gonna sit down but remember you want to lay down while you do your treatment all righty so uh, kiara was just showing our brand new home screen on the cc app so you can see the status of your connection and you're also able to see a summary of any migraine attacks that you log as well as any preventative treatments that you logged so um, I can show my screen because I have a couple of logs cool. actually. Um, so this is what you'll see. Um, let me move the brightness maybe a little down. Um, see the migraine logs. Um, you'll see a summary of how many you've logged and a nice bar graph, which is really cool. Um, it provides a really um, good visual of kind of what your week is like. And the same thing with any preventative treatments that you take and it'll break it down between medication and non-drug. So you might be able to see if there's actually two tones of the little ovals. And so that's just a great summary of kind of what your week looks like in terms of any migraine treatments or attacks that you're having. So now the best part, how do I start a treatment 
uh, through CC. Reminder, we have two treatments. The acute treatment, which is, uh, is the 60 minute treatment that is meant to be used when you're having a migraine attack. And then we have the preventative treatment that is meant to be used every day and it's a 20 minute treatment. Now, before the set, the generation of CC, you have to look at the colors. So press one time for acute and press twice for uh, the preventative, which is something that you can still do. So you don't have to use the cephaly, you don't have to use CC with your cephaly connected. We highly recommend using CC with your cephaly con connected to have the best migraine treatment to log your treatments, to log your symptoms, and simply keep track of your migraine journey. But the uh, device will work even without the app. Yes, yes. so to use the device um, with the app, we can, the best newest feature of this new CC app is that you can actually control your treatment from your phone. Mm -hmm. So you can start treatment, stop treatment, ramp up your treatment, and stabilize your treatment all from your CC app. Yeah. So this is what I was talking about where it kind of makes you it feel like a brand new device because you're able to both control it manually from the device but also from the phone. Yes. So we'll go through that now. So we have the device on our forehead. It's blue, so we know it's connected. Also, the app says connected, yes. so we know that it's connected. And what we want to do, we want to click on the central button mm -hmm. right here, the one that has the Cephaly uh, logo, and then it's going to take us to the screen. Yep. So this is our treatment screen, so we can see their battery life in our app as well as the status of its connection. And so the next step is we want to click this green play button and we'll see the options for the prevent or the acute treatment. So we can do whichever we'd like to do. So let's do the prevent. I know most people have trouble getting into the prevent mode. Okay. So I think this is going to be a great upgrade for them. So you want to click on prevent and then on start treatment. Perfect. So you can see it reacted on my device. You can see it on my forehead. And then on the app, what you'll see is that it starts tracking. So you can see that it's um, a prevent treatment. It's a purple color graph to match the purple LED on the device. And um, you can see the intensity is starting to increase. So that part is very similar to the old app, but you'll see you have these extra buttons down below, which say um, stabilize, ramp up, and then the um, stop. One of the most common uh, questions that we have is, why does the intensity feel too strong? Yeah. Well, thing is, we recommend starting gradually. So when the intensity feels comfortable, we recommend stabilizing it yes. and, you know, kind of take it slow. Um, start slow with like a, a little, uh, a, a very short intensity, a very um, soft intensity, and then uh, ramp it up over time. Yes. Now, it, the intensity doesn't be to doesn't need to be up to a hundred percent for the treatment to be uh, successful. So uh, what you want to do if you want to stabilize it is click on stabilize. And so on your first time stabilizing, you'll get this notification that just kind of walks you through exactly what Kiara talked about, um, why it's important to stabilize, and things like that. So I've actually already stabilized my device because um, I really cannot tolerate much higher than 13, 15%. And so I click stabilize. And so what you can also see is if you ramp up, you'll um, be able to increase the intensity right from your phone. And I think this is another really great improvement mm -hmm. because you have so much control over how much you ramp up. So before um, ramping up, you would hold down the device button um, for a couple seconds and it would ramp up, but you might not know how many seconds equates to how much intensity is increasing. Correct. With the new CC app, it's about a one-to-one -one ratio, mm -hmm. meaning about one click of the ramp up button is equal to about one in, um, increase in intensity, one percentage increase. So right now I'm at 13% intensity. And if I click the ramp up button, you'll see I get a notification about it and my intensity will increase a little bit. And you can see the graph responds and it actually does go one, in, um, one percentage up to 14%. So yeah, that's pretty cool. As a reminder, if you are not using the CC app, 
stabilize the intensity by pressing the device one time. Yeah. But now with this new generation of CC, you can do it through the app. So even a better reason for you to, number one, remember the intensity that feels comfortable for you and eventually stabilize or ramp it up. Yep. We have a question, love my Cephaly. Will we always have to input the pin, the pin before starting a session? Yes, so in this version, we will still have to enter the pin before starting a session. Um, again, it's a security measure to make sure that we are connecting the right device to the right app um, at the time. Question, what if the intensity is too strong and I don't wanna do the treatment anymore? Yeah, so you, with the new CC app, you actually have two options. So the first option is kind of the old reliable, I'd say, um, you can just take the device off and it'll end the treatment. So I would say that if you really feel like the intensity is too much, that is the easiest, quickest way to stop the treatment to um, and to start over if you'd like yes. or to just end the treatment. But if you'd like to end the treatment from the phone, you certainly can. So on the phone, we have this red button here. It's a red stop. So if we click that, it'll just confirm, do you want to end your treatment? Um, you'll click yes. And then you'll notice that the graph pauses, um, the time will pause, the device intensity will also stop, and then you'll hear a little beep, and you're able to just take the device off. When the device starts to sing, that's how you know <laughs> that it's stopped. Uh, not a big deal, uh, because my cephaly is basically all that takes away my migraines and dizziness. Great to hear. It's great. So, yeah, unfortunately, the pin is a very common question, but... You know, we try to help you by giving you tips and tricks and, you know, just remember the code. Again, if you are in the middle of a migraine attack and you don't want to use the app, you're not forced to use the app. You can still use um, the, 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 the Cephaly device mm -hmm. without the app. We recommend using it. So if you add the PIN number in your notes and you can just copy and paste it, that's the fastest way to, um, to connect, to, uh, to connect uh, the device to the app. Um, but ultimately, it's for your own security. So it's important that uh, we have that step. Uh, also, does the app have a dark mode? I have a lot of light sensitivity. Yeah, it's a great question. It's a great suggestion as well. It's something that certainly we'd like to work on, mm -hmm. um, but right now we do not have a dark mode yet. We will though. I also saw a question um, about the Android. When is it going to be available? Soon. We want to <laughs> launch it so bad. We can't wait to launch it. Uh, we're just waiting for a few tweaks, uh, but it's going to be live very soon. So as Lily said, all the all the things that we said today are applicable for the Android version too. Uh, is it in the App Store for Android? Yes, uh, we know the Android, uh, the newest CC uh, for Android is uh, about to be launched. So we're almost there. And that being said, make sure you follow us or you subscribe to our emails or SMS to stay tuned with all the marketing and, you know, just all the initiatives at Cephaly. Uh, I'm using it right now. It's probably the oldest, uh, but yeah. And then, uh, okay, hey. we have five more minutes, so... This is your chance to ask questions and, you know, clarifications. Um, maybe we want to show how to log the migraine treatment. Yeah, sure. So in the app, you're able, we break it down into two different kind of components of your migraine. So any migraine attacks that you have or treatments that you have. So the first block on the home screen is for migraine attacks. So if we click log migraine attack, that will allow us to either log a migraine that's happening right now or a migraine that happened in the past. So I'd imagine that probably people would be logging a past migraine um, and not get it right at the beginning with the app. So we can set a date and time. So I'm gonna just um, backtrack and make one for yesterday. I'm gonna do it for now. Okay. And so if I set one for the past, when I click continue on my start time, it'll ask me if my migraine is still going on or if it already ended. So I'm going to say mine um, is still going on. 
And so I'll be brought to my home screen. And because I set it for yesterday morning, it shows me that my migraine has been lasting for about 28 hours, which is um, accurate for the time frame that I put it at. And so what I can do is when my migraine is done, I can just click this red bar and then it'll bring me to notif that I'd um, like to stop my migraine and it'll bring me to an end time. So I'll choose the end time is now and I think I'm caught up with you. And then you'll be asked a series of questions about your migraine experience. So asking how effective your migraine was, um, where the pain locations were. We have this really cool graphic that we've updated to really pinpoint exactly where your migraine pain is. And so this will help um, when you are speaking to your doctor and talking about past migraines, you'll be able to identify exactly where that pain location was. And so it's a really great um, upgrade. And you can select multiple things. Mm -hmm. And then you'll be asked a series of general back. questions about your triggers, symptoms, medications that you've taken. Um, and you can skip through these questions um, if they're not relevant at the moment, or you can answer them as they're relevant. And all of these questions are optional. Okay. And so once you get to the end here, you'll be able to see a summary of your treatments and then you'll be able to click save. So what I always kind of give as a tip is once you click submit, just give it one second and it'll give you a notification to say that you, um, your log has been saved and then um, your log will be saved. So then you can go right next to the big Suffly button. There's a little icon that looks like a calendar. If we click on that, we can actually see all of our past logs. Um, we can view them, we can edit them if we need to. Um, and so that's a great tool as well. Perfect. For example, I logged a migraine attack for today, which is the one that I collected today. And yeah. Yeah. And so I put in a few preventative treatments for today. And so you can see that I can see the information for the log, but also any notes that I took which is really great to just see those quickly if I need to reference. Yay. Great. So that's all we have for CC. Um, of course, if you have any questions, we're always available. Uh, not a lot of people know this, but we have a free coach program. Um, all you need to do is either go on the link in our bio and you can schedule it from there or you can go on our website, click on getting started and then Cephaly Coach. And then one of our amazing coaches will answer all your questions or you can give us a call. Uh, you can also DM us, uh, send us a direct message on Messenger, on Instagram, on uh, on TikTok, uh, or leave us a comment on YouTube if that's your your platform. Um, but yeah, uh, we're here to help you guys. We really want you to have the best experience with our device. So even if you need to call us multiple times or to schedule multiple coach calls, we're always available and they're always free. For the people that were asking about prices, uh, just a reminder that we have a payment options like a firm, PayPal credit. We are also HSA and FSA uh, eligible. And if you're located in Europe, we have Klarna. So, and we also have our influencer program, but uh, you guys are gonna have to go on our Instagram to find our influencers. So uh, thank you so much, Lily, for, yeah, thank you for having me. joining our live and answering all the questions for our amazing community. Uh, and uh, I'll see you guys soon. I promise you will be more, uh, we'll, we'll go live more often. And if you have any questions or if you have a specific topic you'd like us to talk about next time, feel free to send us a direct message and 